In today's tutorial, I will show you how to deploy a Next.js app completely for free using Vercel and GitHub. This is what the final result will look like. You will be able to see your Next.js app at a randomly generated domain that Vercel will give you. To get started, go to Vercel.com, click sign up, click hobby, then type in your name. Click continue with GitHub and follow the instructions to connect your GitHub account. Once you have completed the sign up process, you should now see this page. This is the dashboard page. And if you just created your account, you should see no projects here. But since I've uploaded some apps already, you can see all of them here. To get started uploading your own Next.js app, click add new, then project. Go ahead and upload your Next.js app to your GitHub profile if you haven't done so already. If you don't see your Next.js app in this list, just click the button here, scroll down until you see the section about repository access, and you can either select all repos or just select repos. If you select all repos, then Verso will have access to all your GitHub repos. And if you select only select repos, you would just need to make sure that you select your Next.js app from the list here. Once you've configured one of these two options, just select save. And once we go back to Verso, we should now see our Next.js app inside of this list. Select import. Down here, you can configure your build and output settings or environment variables if you need to. Once you have configured all of those settings, just click deploy. And I will resume this video once the deploy is completed. The deployment is now complete and you should see a page very similar to this. Click continue to dashboard. Then click visit to see your Next.js app at a randomly generated Verso domain, just like the one you see here. If you want to set up your own custom domain instead of using a randomly generated Verso domain, I have a video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to do this. This is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.